Hey guys. So I'm getting ready to paint this cute little humidor. Humidor? It's not a humidor. <laughs> Why did I say humidor? <laughs> it's a commode. <laughs> I picked this piece up recently on Facebook Marketplace. I removed all the knobs and gave it a good cleaning. The inside of this piece was kind of grungy, so I busted out DIY's new Salvation Solutions stain blocker to freshen up the inside. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to paint this cute little humidor. humidor. It's not a humidor. <laughs> Why did I say humidor? It's a commode. There's a humidor in the house. I'm getting ready to paint this. And I typically just start painting. It hasn't told me what it wants to be yet. So I'm going to put a bunch of colors on here and just start brushing them on and see what happens. So I busted out four different colors for this piece. Marquee, Queen Bee, Kissing Booth, and Fire Starter. Most of the time when I start painting, I don't really have a finished idea in mind. I just start applying color, using the same brush, going between different colors, and keep applying them until it makes sense to me. That's one way I, I like to blend. I use, I use colors that are adjacent to one another on the color wheel and keep brushing away. To add another layer of dimension, I busted into our new copper patina from DIY and blended that into the top drawer. I continue painting with Kissing Booth on the middle drawer and then blending Queen Bee over that. Taking my blending brush, that's the little short brush I'm using right here, I'm using a very light stroke to just dry brush over the other color. Okay, so I've just been working on this, layering different colors, going along, and that's how I paint my pieces. <laughs> no rhyme or reason, I just go. So I've got my mess here. I'm just going to go ahead and paint the top. And I just usually put a couple colors on the brush at once. And it's really windy out here today. So... The paint is drying super fast. I can barely get it on without it drying. But it's the first day I've been able to be outside in months and months and months. So we are stuck at home for a while and I get to paint outside today. It's Michigan in April and I'm outside. That's a good thing. And it's sunny. Take it. I wanted to give it a little more personality. So I took my all-in-one paint scraper and started scraping different colors on. So this isn't exactly what I intended to do on this dresser, but I really never know what's going to happen until I start. And I started playing around with this, 
and I'm kind of liking it. I wanted to do something funky because we're in kind of funky times right now and needed to bring some brightness into the world. So I'm just kind of playing and I will end up distressing this so some of that original green paint will show through. So don't worry if you're freaking out. <laughs> It will, it'll all come together in the end. So I just kept farting around with this, applying everything with this all-in-one tool. I don't do this very often, but it's kind of fun, so I was just messing around with it. You don't have to do this to create a weathered finish, but I do like to add texture and I like the color variation. So it's just kind of fun to do. Use, use different tools that you have laying around the house. It's, you can create all kinds of cool textures. I love to wet distress pieces. This had a great green underneath it. So my goal here is to distress back and have some of that green show through. So I like the way this looks now with the raw paint. It's all kind of dusty and weathered looking. And I know if I go and seal it right now, it's going to be really bright and shiny. And my goal is to look like this after I seal it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a color wash of faded burlap and just lightly brush that over it. I think that will get me the look I'm going for. <laughs> I'm not positive, so we're going to try it. So I've got faded burlap in my bottle, and then I just have a little container um, of water. So I'm mixing it up. But usually if I was doing this, I wouldn't even take the time to mix it. I just <laughs> dump it in the water, but I want it to be halfway consistent. So it's really... Can you see this? I mean, it's probably more thin than even skim milk. But that's what I'm going to try to put over it to make it a dusty wash. Keep your fingers crossed. I apply a lot of wax, then really scrub it into the paint. This seals and protects the paint and creates a beautiful finish. To buff out my wax, I use my drill buffing brushes and it makes the job super, super easy. If you'd like to recreate this finish, visit my website, Shizzle Design, in the links below to pick up all the paint supplies used in today's video. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, this is Shelly Andrade signing off. Ahoy ho, kow, kow.